Hey guys, it's Eddie back with another review, this time with Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Deluxe Class Skids, aka MC Paddington. Um, really cool vehicle mode. Um, I did have trouble transforming it into vehicle mode. Uh, tried it a few times, still don't totally have it down, so it's not completely transformed. I guess there's still some open panels and whatnot, but really cool vehicle mode. I really love it. Um, front especially, it looks real to me, I know that sounds weird, but like the headlights and stuff, it's just such a really great vehicle mode. Um, I like this decals on the side here, it looks really cool, um, they even like included brake panels in the, in the wheels, that's a cool touch, just overall really nice. Chevy signs in the front and back, and it says skids on the back, but uh, translucent windows, and... Um, nothing seems to really be cluttering the windows. Um, let's transform this and uh, put it into robot mode. Really tough transformation, especially for the deluxe. Um, took some doing and I finally got it down, but um, you will have trouble the first time. So, uh, what I do first is I grab, well first I unhinge these doors, I mean um, untab these doors. So you're going to take the door and then just untab it from the main body, which sometimes can be a little tough because they fold under. So once they're untabbed, you just uh, take this wheel here and pull it down and pull the doors down is what you do. Untab this. Boy, I really had it in there and pull it down. Then you'll have his legs down, so then what you want to do is Okay, uh, take the foot, fold it down and around so that the pointy part is pointing, uh, pointing to the front. Then you're going to take this uh, door part here, and from like the front view, you're going to fold it over, and then fold it over again, like so. And then you can see these tabs here, or kind of tab into each other. So then just uh, tab it. Which you really need to just line them up just so or it's not going to work. And I also forgot to mention to fold these windows in. So fold the window in. Rotate down and around. Uh, and then rotate the doors. But you got to rotate them the right way. So the, the tire part here, the front of the like, tire well or whatever is going to be fo facing forward. So. Tab it. And you got his feet. Rotate them around correctly so that they're facing that way. And uh, then what you want to do is untap. I just untab this part here. Uh, then take the back tire here and uh, untab it from the main top part. And then I rotate around like that. Rotate them around. So uh, then you untab the then you untab the hood. And you take this part here, and this feels like you're going to break the toy, but you're not. Fold this part in, and then fold this uh, hood down, and then fold the windshield over the top of the car. And like I said, it's going to feel like it's going to snap, and that you just broke your toy, but you didn't. And then the whole part here is just going to move. So uh, that's how you do that part. Then you're going to take this whole part here. Oh wait, first you want to then you want to pop up the head, like so. You're just going to take this whole part here and rotate it around three, um, 180 degrees. So then you're going to pull the arms down and uh, you can adjust them, which is just, they're just an accordion, so you just unfold them. Then you see these white parts here? You're going to take this chest here and tab in the white parts. But, because there's tabs right here, so you. Oh, uh, I don't know if you can see those tabs there. So you want to rotate this whole chest down, like all the way, and then tab into the holes that are in the uh, silver things, his arm thing. Now you're almost done. Now all you got to do is uh, take this whole backpack establishment here, take the top part, there's a tab, and then a tab behind the head, um, right there. So then you plug it in. Plug it in, plug it in, and then you've got a 
Transformers, Revenge of the Fall, and then, oh, and then you can just, I just adjust it the way you want, you know, and then you got Transformers, Revenge of the Fallen, uh, Skids in his robot mode. Now, an optional thing in the robot mode is the chest here you can push down if you want. So that it kind of gives you that split chest look that a lot of the Transformers have in the movies. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention, I always forget to mention this. On the back here, um, I'm sorry for about this. There's a tab here on the gray part. So let me untab this real quick. You want to be sure you get those tabbed into each other. So, I'm going to tab everything. Get those plugged in, or it's not going to um, transform right. So, let me put everything back. And then, you know, tab in. Um, tab this part into the back of the head. Because then that's going to move that chest piece down to reveal the Autobot symbol. Then you can move the chest piece down if you want. Anyways, there's Revenge of the Fallen Skids. There. MC Paddington. Looks like a rapper. Looks pretty pimpin', you know. Um, he's got his gold teeth because you got to impress... impress his uh his buddies and then he's got the uh big eye for scoping out the ladies he just got overall great detail um he looks very screen accurate from what i've seen of the trailers i'm going to see revenge of the fall on saturday finally and um he's just really cool he has a big arm and a little arm um my speculation is that mudflap and skids were like conjoined when they were younger and then got separated because mudflap has the same thing but it's on this side so you know it looks like they could go together or something that's just my theory. Um, like I said, really, really cool robot mode. Um, articulation, head can rotate 360 degrees. And look down. Uh, the arms are on ball joints, so it goes um, up and down. Rotates 360 degrees. Rotates 360 degrees at the bicep. But two points on the um, elbow. And then on the big arm, the hands, uh, the hands vary between the both arms. Big arm, the thumb can pivot and the um, uh, fingers right here can pivot. So it's like the wrist can pivot and the thumb can pivot. That's pretty cool. And then on this side, they can ro it can rotate around. But it can't rotate around on the big hand. So uh, on the legs, oh, no waist articulation, which really sucks. But on the, on the legs, it uh, goes in and out, rotates 360 degrees, but way hindered by all this kibble in the back. A lot of kibble, but that's okay. And then... Uh, Bends at two points on the knee, but also hindered by this. Um, and then here he is. Um, his feet can rotate 360 degrees and bend in. So, wide range of articulation. Get him in some pretty cool poses, you know. Maybe he's in the middle of, middle of a big uh, breakdancing contact, contest with his manager, MC Mofo. And um, he can, you know, do some trumping and whatnot. So, um, really cool. The gimmicks are on this big hand here. You can push this level lever in, and the, hand, the fist pops out. It's really sensitive, so it pops out a lot during transformation. But then he has a little gun, so he can, you know, somebody tries to steal his bling, shank him. And then this is really cool. The chest feature. It's a Mac Alive gimmick. You press it, and the panels move, and his head bobs. But you gotta have to make sure the head's plugged in, and then the head bob will bob. I don't know if you can see that. But the head's a bobbin. He can lay down some built beats with that. He's just a really cool toy. I really like him. Um, I'll do a quick size comparison. Here he is with Revenge of the Fallen Sideswipe. So as you can see, he's a very small deluxe. He's a shorty, but uh, he's still really cool. I definitely recommend picking him up and his brother. I can't wait to get him. Um, Mudflap, aka MC Mofo, who I think is MC Paddington's manager. Um, which is going to be really awesome to be able to play with these guys. Can't wait till tomorrow to see what kind of mischief these guys get into. So, uh, that's my review. Stay tuned for more reviews. Revenge of the Fallen as well as other toys.